What is going on y'all? Travis here back with another episode of Arrow. This is going to be season one, episode 15. Damn, we're getting through it. Let's jump into it, shall we? Jerry, Jerry, you okay? <laughs> you look a little peaked, man. Fine, it's, uh, Ms. Hill wants us to move the Sherwood into the vault. It, it's midday. She says there's a security threat. It's, uh, all the robberies lately. <laughs> Big ass ruby or diamond, whatever it is. Big ass red thing, red stone, red diamond. <laughs> ah! That way, take this thing off me, I, I got it like you asked. Here, take it off me! <laughs> Were you buffing him with a thing of detonated? Violet, don't worry though. You did exactly as I asked, so it's just unconsciousness for you. Unconscious? Now he's gonna go to prison though. You might wanna take it easy if you plan on taking someone off that list tonight. This is me taking it easy. So who's the unlucky guy tonight? Ken Williams. His pyramid scheme stole millions. People didn't just lose their homes, their lives were ruined. Why don't you two call it in early tonight? I'm not expecting much trouble. Ah. Felicity, did you just? Computer override your lot. Maybe a little. What are you doing? I pulled up some information on Mr. Williams. Did you know he's a widowed father of a 10-year-old boy? I told you, I'm only in this to help Walter. Not to be an accessory to orphaning little kids. You could do some real good in the city beyond just recovering people's stock portfolios and their saving account. You're not the only one who knows how to reboot my system. I made a mistake. Getting in my way, I don't disagree. No, signing on with you. Oh. Even provisionally. I like her. <laughs> Drink. You gotta stay hydrated, okay? My problem is getting a bullet dug out of my arm. Let me take a look. Uh, it's infected. Yeah. Uh, I gotta stop that before it spreads. Yeah. When you swing past the drugstore for those antibiotics, you wanna give me a copy of Maxim? Or maybe a couple of the straight. Yalfei had these super herbs back in the cave to heal anything. Right. I'm gonna go get them. You're not gonna last an hour out there. I guess you better hope I get back in 45 minutes then. Thank you for coming. It is so good to see you, Frank. Oh, it's been far too long. My interests in China kept me away more than I'd like. But with the undertaking approaching, I thought a return to Starling City was in order. Actually, Frank, it's the undertaking that I wanted to talk to you about. I want to get out. Is this because of what happened to Walter? With Walter, with Robert. Last week, the vigilante nearly made my children orphans. I've reached my limit, Frank. Made your children orphans? That's uh, a lot to confide in me. Your son or... is like 30. Robert did. I know he reached out to you, whether I was supposed to know it or not. He had misgivings. He sought you out because he knew you did too. But then he was murdered. And that should be a cautionary tale for both of us. And I've gone along with this for as long as I can stomach it. We started this to fix the glades, Frank, to cure the city, not lay it to waste. You got into this because of what happened to your daughter. What would Amanda want you to do? You got a haircut. Well, maybe we should come back later. This is really serious. For the next attack of conscience leads her right to the police. And I know. I had to make the same calculation when you found out about me. And what would you have done if you were wrong and I decided to make a call to Detective Blance? I would have put an arrow in you. Oh, huh. Oh, really, really, you really would have done that? I had a bet going with myself on how quickly you two would visit. Tell me not to reveal your secret. Looks like I won. Actually, I was hoping that I could get you to change your mind. Didn't exactly put my best foot forward. I was hoping you'd give me the opportunity to do that now. How about you start with Ken Williams? He returned the money that he stole just in time to put his son to bed. Like I said, Felicity, just a warning. The Dodger operates primarily in Europe. Call him the Dodger because he avoids getting his hands dirty. Dodger? He uses hostages as he was stealing for him. Puts a bomb collar around their necks. Oh. Last year, a guy in Madrid took his head off. That's the Dodger. And now the psychos in Starling City. You know, not all the people that I target are on the list. Every once in a while, I make an exception. Hostage-taking jewel thief. So why don't you help us take him down? Let's go! He's late. Never. I maintain a Swiss account for financial transactions. Here's the number. Thanks. I'll wire you the money. Assuming I don't misplace the numbers, my bookkeeping method is a little sloppy. Really? Clearly you're under the impression that you can have the show with Ruby for a steal. Ooh, that's a lot of guns. Well, you're new here in town. We're not as refined. I am getting that impression. What a convenient worry. little zapper. Your men are merely unconscious. In about 17 minutes, they'll wake up with the ability to tell every other fence in this town that I am not to be trifled with. What about me? What about you? 
What about you, indeed? To catch this guy, we need to either figure out where he is or where he's gonna be. Is this really how you guys figure out how to get your target? Over burgers and shakes? Sorry, it took me so long. I'm waiting on a bunch of particularly rowdy customers. You need me to handle that? I appreciate it, but I'm a pro by now. I'll be here if you need me. Girlfriend? No, no, it's my uh, sister-in-law. Sort of. Carly was married to Dick's brother, and he passed away. Well, looks like she's hot for you. Can we get back to crime fighting, please? And you sh probably should ask her out. Really? I'll do that just five minutes after you ask out McKenna. Mm. Detective on the Dodger case. You have a thing for her? Uh, yes. I think you should ask out her. I don't see you asking Carly out. Listen, this guy, he's targeting that very specific type of jewel. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Your crush object with a badge said they were working with Interpol. Why don't I work up a little tech, distract her with a little flirty flirt, slip said tech onto her phone. It'll turn into a microtransmitter and we'll learn everything she knows. Hmm. It's not how I typically get my information. Uh. I find the person and then I put the fear of God into them until they talk. But we can try your way. You know, Carly, I don't, I don't want this to, um, you know, to come off weird or anything. It's just, would you like to have dinner? How about tonight? Tonight? Okay, what? okay. We haven't waited long enough. Okay, Diggle, yes. That Hulu straight make it taste so good. I had a feeling you needed a break from the office. Hank was my first client. I kept his son from being sent away for a mugging that he didn't commit. How did that not score you free hot dogs for life? CNRI gives low-income people access to the legal system. His son could have gone to prison forever. I, I could have gone to prison too. He couldn't afford a dream team of super lawyers. I'm supposed to feel guilty because I'm lucky enough to have a rich family. You are lucky, and hopefully CNRI will show you that. Hey! Hurry up, run. Oh, that's... Give us the purse, and we won't press any charges. That was Jackson yeah, from right. Teen Wolf. I really do feel lucky. This got snagged as he bolted over the fence. It's like a chain from his wallet. As if we need to add another snack to the show. I thought you gave up crime fighting. What? The business with your sister. I figured you'd stay out of police precincts. I never thanked you for everything that you did, so thank you. So you got promoted. Major crimes. And they assigned me to the Dodger case. He extorts people into stealing for him. How's that going? Slow. It was nice seeing you the last time that I saw you. <laughs> yeah, but seeing you too. It was like old times, except the PG version. How do you mean? <laughs> well, you and I always knew how to have a fun time. Something that's been missing from my life lately. Let's have it a drink. Not now. I'll, I'll take you for a, would you like to have dinner with me? I was on a deserted island for five years and I'm totally out of practice. Mm, well, dinner would she be is pretty nice. Hot. In fact, I can make myself free tonight. Yeah. Great. I'll grab you an eight. It's perfect. I'm lingering. I'm gonna go. Okay. Y'all would be pretty hot. Y'all would be pretty dang on hot. Who's there? Help me. Who's that? Who was that? What? Sergeant, it's Detective Hall. I have an update on the Dodger case. A body was found at an art gallery shot point blank by a highly focused electric current to the heart. Same MO as that guard at the museum. Got well, that zapper. Back. His name is Cass Derenek. Who's Cass Derenek? Arrest, <laughs> possession of stolen goods, conviction, attempted sale of stolen goods. This guy's a fence. The Dodger's looking to unload the Sherwood Ruby. Which means he'll be in the market for a new fence. One he has killed. So we find the fence and we find the Dodger. I saw online you sell a chain wallet with an eight ball on the chain. I was wondering if you give me a name of one of your customers. I gave you a description. You can call me back. You and every other used clothing and leather goods store I've called today. What was that about? What's up with the fancy fancy? Oh, uh, I have a date. Contrary to popular opinion, I do have a life. Then why you seem so nervous? Is it obvious? Just be your charming and brooding self. Girls seem to dig that. This girl is different. She knew me before the island, before I was... Uh... At CNRI. <laughs> I'm working on a very important purse snatching case. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, he, he might have been wearing a red hoodie. Abercrombie looking. His face, not the hoodie. Thanks. Really, you wouldn't happen to have his name. Thank you so much. Hey, Laurel, does your dad still like arrest people? I found the dirt bag. His name is Roy Harper. Roy Harper? I can't remember the last time I was here. It's Roy? So yeah, this was the place to take a girl in high school. I was never lucky enough to experience that. I had braces and terrible bangs back then. And I'm sure you looked amazing. I'm glad we finally got around to doing this. Me too. Me three. You know, Andy set a pretty high bar when it came to first dates. Face down, arm gunman for a living, but I've never seen him as scared as he was before that first date with you. Oh, Carly, I'm sorry. That 
It wasn't good first date etiquette, was it? Probably not. Carly, this is difficult and complicated. It's not like there's a manual, you know? For a moment, I, I, I felt like a girl likes a boy and, and nothing else matters. If this is too hard for you or too complicated, just get out now because I, I've already been hurt too much. Carly, listen, I'm Can sorry. you just please take me home? Dang it. Dang it. It's not possible for something to be this good. Right? Oh. I thought you must have missed souffles. What do you mean? Five years on an island away from civilization. What did you eat? Where'd you sleep? How did you make me? Sorry. Didn't mean to drill you. Just I haven't had a conversation with a I'm guy leave that in a one while alone. without it <laughs> resulting in me reading him his rights. Yeah, but those years, they must have changed you. Ah! From the guy I used to party with to who you are now. Yeah, because I had to make some tough choices. Help me. You're right. It changed me. What kind of tough choices? I don't want to talk about those experiences, McKenna. Saved by the cell. Ha <laughs> Hall. Okay, put what the CI told you in the warrant application. I'll be right there. It's work. I gotta go. Well, damn. Ollie and Dig both had fucking awkward ass dates. Felicity. I think the police just got a lead on the Dodger. Okay. Who are you? My name's Alan Duran. I'm an, I'm an exchange student. I was on a fishing excursion with my class. We got lost. Then our boat caught fire. We had to jump ship. When? Two days ago, I thought I was gonna die. Where are the Where are the other students? Where's the boat's crew? I think I'm the only one who made it. I managed to get to shore. I thought I was lucky. What? Somebody found you? So soldiers or? Yes. They had these masks on. Attacked me and beat me. They let me in. No harm. Couldn't tie me at any point, by the way. I mean, Not I wouldn't necessarily right away either. You. He did. Tell does me. look like he just got his ass kicked town, several uh, times. <laughs> Maybe one good I did time. As soon as I heard about what you did to cast Darren, I... God rest his soul. He wasn't a very nice man. He tried to steal from me. I've heard that you have a better sense of judgment and that you have no trouble in living this. It's only a recession for some people. I take a 15% commission off the top. I know her from Let's something. Let's call it 12, shall we? Obviously, I don't have to remind you about what happened to the last person who tried to screw me up. SCPD! Grab the floor! Damn. Come quietly! They'll have to decline. And I'm afraid you won't be going to jail. on the news the dodger got away hopefully the night wasn't a complete waste yeah, it's not often Your they dicks. get away from him huh liars you suck at lying the police and i busted it up before the you're dodger suck. could get him you're suck. don't change the subject is your hacker chip still working you two are no fun yeah still getting a strong signal you should pull up the police records everything the dodger stolen so far we know the dodger has a taste for a very specific type of antiquity these all look like they're from the ominous decade. Are there any other places that sell or display items from the ominous thing? Decade? Not really. I guess people in Starling City prefer the Elizabethan era. It says right there they're holding a fundraising auction tomorrow night. Could lure him out into the open. With what? A fake? The Dodger clearly has a trained eye for this sort of thing. He's not going to fall for anything less than the genuine article. Where are we going to get our hands on a rare Spanish antiquity? You really have no idea how rich his family is, do you? <laughs> Roy William Harper Jr. Who's senior? Norris Cemetery. Sorry to hear that. You're in an army of bookies. Can I go? Be I think it's a suspect and a person at you. Quite a resume you could pile here. You got something against banks? You play an oh, asshole and everything? Under your arm. Well, maybe you'll learn a few new skills in prison. Look, I don't want to steal. Okay, I don't have any other choice. My mother, she... He's pretty, though. She has a problem. Yeah, her son's a moron. No, Vertigo. She got hooked on Vertigo last year. She kicked it. I guess Fucking she Vertigo. It. it messed her up. She hasn't been the same, and her medical bills look... I'm, I'm just trying to help her get out from under. Look, we're not privileged enough to have as much as other people. Fine. Let him go. It's just a damn purse, right? They'll meet with you. It has been arranged. Thank you for this. There's one more thing I need you to do. Malcolm's the only one who knows where Walter's being kept. I just need a clue. Some lead to follow. If our plan works, I can't let it damn Walter to hell. No. That's the fate that's in store for us. I'm afraid. Police are here too. Your base attracted them at least. It's not exactly who I'm looking to catch. Whoa. I'm getting a good signal from the GPS I put in your family's brooch. Speaking of, have you given any thought to what might happen if this doesn't work and the Dodger absconds with your family? Oh, hottie. I like the glasses though, to be honest. Let's just keep our eyes open, Felicity. I really like the glasses on her. I mean, she's hot. Hey, isn't obviously, that? Obviously, but. 
Hmm? I would rather take my chances with a deadly jewel thief. Right. Hey, that brooch was donated by the Queen family. You're gonna have to bid. Actually, though, no. I thought I'd just take it. Oliver! Maybe I should check our front and see if the security guard's having any problems. Yeah, let's check on the bait. I think I have a problem. Get away from me. If this thing blows... It's not gonna happen. The Dodger said, if I call the police, he... I'm gonna get decapitated, aren't I? If I find him, I can get him to disarm it. Talk me in. Stay calm. Too late. No. Y'all better not. Y'all better Talk to me, not. Talk to me. Talk to me. Heading towards Adams and O'Neill. Really trying to these make these windows a phones a thing, huh? I need your bike. You kidding me? No. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Stud. My mobile, where is he? Yum. Talk to me, Felicity. First time anyone's ever been grateful for traffic cameras. He's one block from your position. Literally. If you cut through Harris Plaza, you'll end up right behind him. Where is he now? I got him, I got him, got him. Grayson and I driving north at the light ahead of you. Dead ahead, good. Okay, hard right. He was smart. He'd just slam on his brakes and make you go. That's what the hit those dumb dumb. The helmet looks huge. Don't do anything stupid. I had the foresight to collar up a particularly inquisitive blonde. I assume she's a friend of yours. Touch one hair on my head and she loses hers. You've got quite the choice to make, don't you? Not this time. Your median nerve's been severed. You couldn't push that button if you tried. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Yeah, Why are you doing literally. This? I only steal from the rich. You about to get zapped. Ooh. Just kidding. You got zapped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Robin Hood. No, when these men are coming back, you have to believe me. Untie me, please. Because he rich too, and he gonna stay rich. <laughs> you think these men they planted me here, some kind of trap or something? Well, why why'd they tie you up like that and then just leave you? Why, why not just kill you? They were going to. They got called away. It's an altercation somewhere else on the island. If they come back, they will kill both of us. Please, you have to believe me. He'd look all right, off. Turn, all right. While you all are missing two days. <laughs> or it's only been two days. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, but I can't. What? Why? I mean, Why not? Because I don't know you. You out of your mind? Please! You can't do this! You can't just leave me here! I mean, in all fairness, he has been fucked over by trusting people already, right? And I you think you gotta... I think about was how pissed off Andy will be, how... He situated that situation, you gotta fucking together. trust your instinct, I think. Well, that's nothing compared to how he'll be if I did something to hurt you, Carly. Right? Believe me when I tell you that war is easier than dating. In war, you act or you die. No time to think, no time to second guess yourself. Maybe that's your problem. With me, you're thinking, not feeling. You're right. Kai, oh Kai, oh Kai, oh Kai. Go ahead, Diggle. Go ahead. Who's that? Oral? Oh, no, it was. How'd you know where I live? A little thing called the internet. Look, can we not do this with a door between us? And so I guess you're not pressing charges because you feel like you feel like you can change my life. And so you can run and tell your rich prep school friends that you're helping the disadvantaged. You don't know a thing about me. Thea Queen, trust fund brat. Totaled her car, which she got as a birthday present. Loves designer labels. Did I leave anything out? Yeah. Dead father, missing stepdad, damaged brother. Almost served jail time for that car accident. But you shut up. Plus she really wants her purse back. You know, you showed some real sack coming down here. The blades in the middle of the night. You must not know the value of a vintage purse. <sighs> Don't worry, it's all there. Except for these. You know, it's a really filthy habit you got there. Tell me about it. Hey, can I give you some advice? First, stay out of the blades. And second? Don't fall for every sob story a guy like me tells the police. You have a great evening now. What an asshole. Do you ever take time off? I do. Last night, I went on a date. The guy was kind of a jerk. Really? He might have had a reason. Listen, I didn't just lose five years. That of big of a jerk. I lost the part of me that enjoyed being alive, listening to music and uh, eating a souffle with a beautiful girl. It's the easy things. 
When you asked me about the island, it reminded me of all the hard things and the hard choices that I had to make. Got behind your back. Still stay with me. What are you looking for? Make me question who I can trust, and even if I'm worthy of being with anyone. What are you working so late for? No, I think he should go for Felicity. That's her name? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> can I take you to a dinner? I promise not to cut short. Throw on a souffle and you're on. McKenna! Glad you're still here. Actually, I was just leaving. Is everything okay? Yeah. I'd like you to uh, work with me on the vigilante investigation. Yes, sir. Well, don't worry. We'll bring him in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they all know. They all Ready have to, to. Yep. Y'all are just blinded. Y'all are just playing dumb. All y'all playing dumb. It tastes like an ashtray. That's a job. I owe you one. You didn't get into any trouble out there, did you? Hmm? No. Not a bit. Frank Chen recommended you. He said you could help us with our problem. He appreciates you agreeing to meet with me. Asian Lady Gaga? Anything for a friend. So, how can we be of assistance? Malcolm Merlin. He's hot. I want you to kill him for me. Oh my god. Y'all messy. Y'all, me this whole show is messy. Every, I will say it, I will say it every episode till the day, I, or until the day I die, whatever happens first. Hopefully I watch every episode first before that happens. But everybody on this show, I don't care who they are, male, female, one of the parents, one of the investigators, one of everybody, they all are so damn hot. All of y'all. Every last one of you. Hot, hot, hot. I feel like we're going to see more of that guy, Roy. Why would they introduce him just for that? Right? For th with Thea? I don't know. Maybe that's just a feeling. Don't tell me. No spoilers, as always. But I just feel like, like, why why do that for no reason? With, like, the person stuff? In shows like this, they don't just introduce a character like that without a, something else. You know? Maybe. But, man. This show is so good. This is... This, honestly, is one of the most watchable shows, like easily watched watchable shows that I've started since doing this whole thing, I would say. So I'm excited about the next one. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. <gasps> Goodbye.